We're in Brooklyn, New York, and we're gonna go check out King Cog Cycles. They literally have the biggest collection of vintage zip wheels, cranks, bikes, everything. My buddy Sean Wolf is an Indianapolis native. He runs King Cog. He's been collecting zip for decades. All right, my guy's got his daily riders out, and I think he just picks whichever one of these he decides to ride. <laughs> but this is some of the earliest uh, Zip heritage, right? Zip started in what, 87? 87. And that happens to be your birthday as well? Same age, Born yeah. Born the same year as Zip. And so this is, some of the, this is some of the first products they had. This is what, the 2001? Yeah, the first, the first bike. They made the disc wheel, was like their premier product. And then, um, then they came out with the 2001 in 90. You know, growing up in Indianapolis, you see Zip at every race, and they're always in the front and kind of you always wanted what the fast guys were riding and it was always zip and whether it was the wheels or the bikes it was just kind of like you know the best stuff you could get it all comes from like race car manufacturing so a lot of the hubs early hubs were just made in house and it was it was stuff made on machines that were making car parts you know super crazy. cool and it's just a bunch of engineers that were like yeah we're going to make bike parts out of this out of this and like they had all the technology and the experience and they were like we're just going to flip it yeah. So this is actually a hinged pivot. This is actually suspension on this bike, yeah? Yeah, yeah, this is a pivot point here and then there's a bolt here that sort of attaches everything, but inside there's this slug right here and it's got two rubber elastomers and there's, it just kind of bounces on that. These are the zip carbon cranks. Yeah, Vuma Kronos. Those are the Vuma mm -hmm. Kronos. Yeah. But then if you come over here, what's up with these? Because these are also zip cranks. Yeah, early version. So a carbon arm uh, sort of bonded to aluminum spider. You know, there's a mechanical bolt back there too, but. Um, right, so these came before the Vuma Kronos. Yeah, way before. Uh, these were, you know, in the mid 90s. Kind of a cool evolution, you see the similarities, but yeah, these were these were super, super light. Would you even got the zip branded bottom bracket too? Yeah. Personally, I love Cannondale track frames, and then I love things that match. So, this limited edition Zip Eliminator 3000 wheel set on this Cannondale track frame is, to me, the hottest fire, but most of these Zip 3000s came for free wheels, because this is like, you know, six, seven speed stuff. This one's a track hub, but it's actually a little bit of a donor. Yeah, it donated its hub with the track axle, track steps to, to the that. old rear 3000, yeah. The Eliminator was the, the first generation of the 3000 wheel. So which one of these came first? This, this, this disc came first before that? Yeah, the disc was first, and then they made the 3000 wheel. Sean's track bike collection of zips, I think actually surpasses his road bike collection. What do we got going on with this? Yeah, definitely. Tom Cruise. <laughs> uh, I got this from a good friend of mine, Chris Chu, who actually used to work at Zip as well, SRAM. Shout out, shout out. Um, yeah, the frame's really rad. It's an Icarus frame, but one of my favorite things is the wheel set. Of course, uh, factory rear track 3000. The green hub is cool with the- What's up with this lock ring right here? So they were convertible. You could buy one wheel and you can make it a front or rear and you could run your free wheel, um, on there and you know so this is a, oh this so this is threaded this, for a free wheel this this could be a rear threads, and this yeah. could be mm -hmm. that's wild yeah so when riding a bike a track bike in the streets there's a basically your emergency brake because you don't have brakes is the TED tread. Uh, and Sean's gonna illustrate the TED tread for us real quick, just in case it all goes bad. Ah, what's going on? Walk me through this bike. This is the 2001 track, specifically made for the velodrome. Uh, no cable routing, no front railing mount, straight track bike. What ratio are you running right here? This is the classic Omnium 48 tooth chain race. Yeah. 17 for cruising around town. We got a 4817, so this is the question everyone wants to know. What size tires and what PSI are you running? As high as I can get into this tire, and they're 23s. They're 23s. 23 this one's a 19. A 19 oh, it's a 19, a all right. Yeah, 19 so you're getting, you're getting skinny up front. All right, so in addition to having a Zip Museum, I mean, Sean actually runs a bike shop, two bike shops, in fact. There's King Cog here, and then what's the other one? Sun and Air. Sun and Air Bikes, right at the base of the Williamsburg Bridge. King Cog started almost 20 years ago? 2005. 2005, almost 20 years ago. You've been running it for almost a decade now? Since 2014. 2014, so 
in addition to doing this, you, you run a bike shop full time. Yeah. Um, what's that like? I mean, you're running a bike shop in New York City. I know you don't just specialize in custom one-off zips. You do pretty much everything else, right? Yeah, both stores are fully walk-in, full-service bike shops. Okay, one last thing before we go. There's a basement to every bike shop, and as you can imagine, the King Cog basement is pretty crazy. I can't show you much, but I can show you this. Just a new old stock. Mint condition. This is what they look like before everything else is put on it. Where do you find these things? Or is that a trade secret? A trade secret right now, but if you're holding any hardware, your boy needs it. Sean Wolf, King Cog Cycles, Sun and Air Cycles, born and raised in Indy, born the same year as Zip. If you have any questions about anything Zip related, hit up Sean. If you're in New York, definitely check out King Cog or Sun and Air. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for showing me the museum. Thanks, Jess. Thank you for taking me on a trip down Fixie Lane with some My sick pleasure. wheelies. Yeah. Till next time, making you faster.